evening children. The story for today is Brer and Nancy and the Crocodile Eggs. Brer and Nancy was on his way home with some big red cherries. I'm very hungry, he said. When I get home, I'll have these red, juicy, sweet cherries for tea. Soon he came to the river. But he did not know how to get across. Look at Anansi very carefully. Who do you think he is? Yes, he's a spider. With a human body and a human uh, top and the spider body, legs. Okay, so he sat down to rest and to think about how to get across to it. He looked around and at last he saw a log. I know, he said. I'll cross the river on that big log. You know what a log is? Yes, a piece of wood. And when you tie all the logs together, what do you make? It's a, it's a, it's a way to travel across the river. A raft. You need oars to row a raft. Okay. That's what I'll do. Then I can go home and eat the juicy cherries. Yum. Just as he was about to get into the log, he saw Mr. Crocodile get into the river and come across the river to talk to him. Good morning, Brer and Nancy, he said, Mr. Crocodile. Brer and Nancy was extremely frightened of Mr. Crocodile. He didn't even like the look of him at all. But he still said, how good to see you, Mr. Crocodile. I was just going to take these red, juicy, big cherries to your home. I know Mrs. Crocodile loves them. Was it true? Was he taking these cherries to the crocodile house? No, he wasn't. Then why is he lying? Yes, because he was very scared of him. Would you be scared of a crocodile if you saw him on the way? I know, Arush Adwik, you wouldn't. You are two brave little boys. Thank you, said Mr. Crocodile. Mrs. Crocodile will be so happy to see these cherries. So come and have tea with us. Prayer and Nancy didn't want to have tea or anything to do with Mr. and Mrs. Crocodile. But he was too, too afraid to say so. After tea, Mr. Crocodile said, you look very tired, Brer. Stop here for the night. You can sleep with the children. It had got late by the time they had their tea and enjoyed the cherries. So he proposed to keep Brer in the children's bedroom. Brer and Nancy was very surprised to find out that the children were actually ten crocodile eggs. Mr. Crocodile was very, very fond of them. Obviously, they were his babies, so he's going to be very fond of them. Soon, Brunancy went to sleep with the kids. But in the middle of the night, he woke up. I am very hungry, he said to himself. I think I will eat one of the crocodile eggs. Oh, oh, oh. And he did. Then he had another. And he was still hungry. So he had another, and another, and another. Now there was just one egg left. Mr. Crocodile will be very cross when he finds out I've eaten up his 